welcome to our latest HMO. So we've uh, recently completed it on this property. It's currently a four bed and we're converting into a six bed HMO. Show you the front. So uh, it's all of this, three floors. Uh, we actually had an offer except on the one, two doors down from this, but uh, we got gazunded. Uh, someone took it from us. They take you on a quick tour. I've got some plans to show you around. So it's not in, not in fantastic condition. Um, someone, the previous owner, started doing work, but then didn't finish. So if I take you to the plans first. So currently, ground floor. So we're standing uh, here at the moment. At the moment, this is all open plan. Uh, kitchen's there. This is pretty much the layout as it is, but we're just adding on suites. So. What is the living room currently will be a bedroom, so a new doorway added into the side there. Um, this will be the living room for everyone. And then through into the kitchen, there is a cellar down there, but we can't really do much with it because there's very little natural light going into there. Um, upstairs, coming up the stairs, we've got a bedroom back here with a bathroom next door to it. And this bedroom and this bedroom will share that bathroom. Then the other four bedrooms, so this one, this one, this one, and this one, will have their own en-suites. So currently there's no uh, pipes or services going up here, so they'll be newly introduced. Because these rooms are smaller, we'll be borrowing a bit of space from these two rooms to, uh, for the ensuite to go in. So the ensuite comes down to here, whereas previously the wall is here. Same again upstairs. So yeah, fairly straightforward. Um, at the moment this is being turned out to builders. Um, I'll just show you round. So that is what will be uh, bedroom number one. There's currently no separate access into it, but we will put a new door here. And as I said, there's no, there will be no one suite for this one that's showing the room upstairs. Um, quite nice flooring, so I think we don't really have to do anything from that point of view. It went in fairly recently. This will be the living room, so we'll block that up there. There'll be a uh, new wall, and this access will remain as it is, uh, so that everyone can go through into this living room and also through into the kitchen. Again, yeah, kitchen's pretty good condition, um, just needs a bit of a tart up. They've got plastic panelling instead of tiling or anything like that. Uh, so we'll most likely replace this and also the boiler to go up with uh, four en suites and a bathroom. Uh, down here, I'm not going to show you, but there's a big, dark, dingy cellar. So if we go upstairs onto the first floor. Straight on. This is currently a bathroom and it will remain a bathroom. This will be the shared bathroom for the room downstairs. And also this room, which is lacking a bit of carpet, not a problem. So it's yeah, fairly standard square room, chimney place in it, which we will remove and board up so it's just flat, which means if we wanted to, we could put a bed right up against there. At the moment, there's not that many uh, plug sockets in here. And that's one of the things that a lot of people forget to position and think about before they do the work, because quite often they are not right by the bedside, which means there are cables stretching uh, across the room when you're charging your phone, you might think like that. This is the third bedroom. This is one of the ones which will have an ensuite in it. Again, we'll be taking that off and flattening it off. Uh, the ensuite will partially be in this room but it will also go through that wall into the next room, through into here. So we'll be taking all these cupboards uh, out and the en-suites will be along here. So this bedroom's en-suite will be up to about there and then next doors will come through into here um, and there'll be access through that way out here on to the top floor. Wooden stairs at the moment. Uh, not sure if we're gonna leave it like that. We can probably get some carpet down. Uh, up around the corner. This is pretty much the same as the room below. So we will be having an ensuite in this corner here. Again, going into the room next door. And again, taking that off, flattening it off. the 
final room. When we first saw this, I don't think we could see any of the walls because they were covered in posters of Japanese anime and uh, there were uh, fake swords lying about. Actually, very realistic, heavy swords as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> interesting. So yeah, this, as with downstairs, there'll be an ensuite uh, from next door that will steal a bit of room from this and then this bedroom's ensuite will remain in that corner. Remain, it will be in that corner. And that is it. Let's see if I can show you the view outside. So, uh, yeah, it's not too much to see. But um, as I said, I was quite disappointed because we had an offer accepted on uh, two doors down, which is the same layout as this, apart from the basement, sorry, the cellar had, it was huge. It had been partially boarded, fire boarded, and there's a fire alarms down there. There's also plenty of natural light coming in. So the plan was to have that as the communal area, so the, the living room and kitchen, and to have what is the kitchen here as another bedroom. So it was gonna be a seven bedroom HMO. And looking at the outside, you wouldn't expect that. So it really excited me when I had a look round uh, with Pete. But yeah, our, we put in an offer and someone else came in last minute and put it in a higher offer that wasn't subject to planning like ours was and it was accepted by the agent. And particularly annoying as the, um, the agent had told us that once they accept an offer, then that's, that's final and they won't accept anymore. So when ours was accepted, they went back on their word. Uh, but yeah, that, not because of that event, but coincidentally, incidentally, uh, that agent is actually no longer working at that company. Um, who knows, who knows why? But um, yeah, disappointing, but there are plenty more opportunities. Um, this one, as I say, we're starting, uh, we're tendering the, the, uh, the property out to builders and we should be starting work fairly soon. Building work has been sent off and yeah, excited to see what this one has in store. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, as I said on my previous videos, if you want to come and have a tour around our projects and, and catch how they're going on, uh, learn to see how we do things, then please get in touch. Equally, if you're an investor and want to get involved in these kind of projects, um, so we, we do work with a select number of investors, do get in touch and we can take you through exactly what we do and how we do it, and we can go from there. But for the meantime, I will see you soon.